Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. It is Friday. You know, the week's been moving along. I hope everybody out there is having a good week. Before we even get started, I gotta give a shout out to my man God Works on Instagram. Sent me a dope package. You know what I'm saying? And I like to highlight you know, black business owners when people send things and they want to get their stuff shown to the world. Peep this. Yo, shout out to my brother, God Works, on Instagram, G-A-U-D-W-O-R-X. Make sure y'all check him out, man. He did me up a nice little set. Got the lighter so they can't steal my joint no more. Got that. Got the tray. Got the ashtray and all that, you know what I'm saying? He do really good work, too, and it's fast, you know what I'm saying? Fast little turnaround. He has hit me up with this set. I didn't even get a chance to show it. It was sitting at the post office for like damn near a week at the P.O. box. But I think it's dope. Got the chains on there. My joints. You got the Bulls. You know the Bulls one of my favorite hats. Uh, God works, man. Shout out to my boy, man. Make sure y'all check him out. He do all type of dope artists. Three. You know what I'm saying? He, he could do these joints right here. You know, it's just not limited to... Uh, Bloggers and battlers, you know what I'm saying? He could definitely do personalized joints too. You know, I ain't nobody, but I definitely appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else who got products and brands and things like that that y'all trying to push or you want to get to me, holla at me on Instagram or on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And I'll show some love to y'all too. I don't charge anybody for it. I definitely show love, especially when it's people's products. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. Appreciate that. Uh, it's a battle rap. It's been kind of slow this week. Not really much going on. Uh, a murder mook interview is about to drop on uh, hip hop is real salute to them he's gonna be talking his talk it looks like he's got a long time to sit there and talk about everything that you think he's gonna talk about that's been going on in battle rap recently and you know whenever murder there's certain people whenever they do interviews it's gonna be some very 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 noteworthy material that's going on in them t-rex always head ice Always. Murder Mook, always. Whatever they do interviews. And there's a couple more people too, but when them three do interviews, the, and surf, you know what I'm saying, the numbers get different. And uh they definitely are gonna have some moments in it. I don't I don't know everything he's talking about, but they got the preview out right now, and we'll see where that goes. Uh, you know, Civil War. I mean yeah, Civil War is coming up. No, Born Legacy. I believe it's Born Legacy 13 is coming up. It's been a couple of battles announced off of there. I will be talking about it with my brother Showtime SP. Salute to him a little later. I seen uh, Mike P versus Jack Boy, uh, Chilla Jones versus Klutz, Danny Myers versus the Flair Soul. So it's a lot of new guys that's getting pushed, you know what I'm saying? And the battles are kind of like mirroring some of the names that they should be seeing. And then they got the three on three joint on there that's been causing all the controversy. It's Arsenal, O Red, and Shotgun Shug versus Ease, Hansel, and Authentic. You know what I'm saying? I got it, I got it, I got it. I see y'all in the comments of the last year. Like, yo, Vada, it's Arsenal. Do you got a problem with Arsenal? No, I don't have a problem with Arsenal. It's just, when you think of six names in one battle, I've been doing two, 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 one, 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 one forever. When it's a third name, it's like, I, 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 was, I was a little glitched there. So, you know, well, 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 I took the L. Shout out to Arsenal. I do remember who it is now. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, you know, there's been some talk about some other joints, but i seen Calico and Rum Nitty, you know what I'm saying? And it sparked my attention because I know they had been talking, but I wanted to see, like, that was wild, foul, Cal, hold up, we kept the fouls. I wanted to go back and see how long Calico has had Rum, like, Rum Nitty has been on Calico's mind, you know what I'm saying? That he's known about him or known he's a threat or known that it was somebody that he would eventually want smoke with. And you know what I found? You wanna know what I found? I found a tweets from almost 10 years ago where Rum Nitty, where Calico was talking about Rum Nitty. And 10 years ago, you know, Cal was like, oh, I'm talking about summer madness and Rum Nitty wasn't even heard of. You know what I'm saying? So he been known. Don't let Cal play it like he ain't been known because it was wow, like hold up, wow, ow, we kept the files. Calico told this man, <coughs> Rum Nitty, in 2014, Rum Nitty is actually nice. 
He just have to find other ways to make punches than stretching words. In 14, that is wild. He said he didn't want no more uh, trigonometry or hieroglyphics and microphysics. He ain't want that stretching of words. He wanted Rum Nitty to get to the punch faster. I think Rum Nitty is getting to the punch a whole lot faster than many. Uh, he can have a battle where he's battling somebody that's rapid fire and he could literally just walk them down. You know what I'm saying? Like he just aiming at you, banging that. Like, like he, he can just do it, you know what I'm saying? I hold a pistol, like he can switch his flows up now. One of the most dangerous, the, the, the most dangerous MCs in the entire game uh, is Rum Nitty and I believe Ill Will is one of them too. There's some more that's very dangerous too, so please don't, you know, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, in 2023, which was a couple, I mean last month, he said, uh, I really want Rum though. And then uh, he also said in 2019, put me in a circle with both them niggas. Guarantee I walk out that bitch with a hoodie on and some white forces with a Walmart uniform tucked in my back pocket. And he said that when Rum Nitty and, uh, and, and Twerk was battling. You know what I'm saying? He was saying like, I'll be both of them and I'll be walking out with your rag, like this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like he was talking real heavy Chevy about, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, uh, Rum Nitty got a lot of support, you know what I'm saying? He he got people that uh, rock with him, and Cal got people that rock with him, you know what I'm saying, on his side. But, uh, you know, Calico, he said that he would walk away beating both of them. So Rum Nitty, who's not one that really promotes like that, I've stated that in other blogs, that Rum Nitty does not really, like, call out a lot of opponents. So normally, if he calls somebody out, or if he's talking, like, anything towards an MC, he's probably going to get him. But the thing is, a lot of people are... I ain't gonna say a, a lot of people are afraid of Rum Nitty, but they battle him anyway, but they know when it's line for line, punch for punch, he's probably gonna beat you. But Rum had tweeted on September uh, 24th, 2022, Cal ain't do it when he battled Easy the Black Captain. And then, uh, you know, Cal, uh, Rum Nitty has also tweeted him in the past saying, Cal rapping in this second. So he, they both giving each other props and they both know how dangerous one another is. But at the same time, don't get it twisted. They still want smoke, you know what I'm saying? And um, on a summer madness stage, I heard where it's going to be. I ain't really going to say it. I mean, when they say it, if they say it, then that would be that. Uh, I kind of got Rum Nitty in that regard. I'm just going to say I just got Rum Nitty in that regard. I just know that like a large crowds have not really got the Rum Nitty like that. They haven't got to see him in a little bit. Like huge, super crowd, big stage, big room. You know what I'm saying? I might as not recently, because there ain't really been no super big stage joints. I mean, the two on two was a crazy indication recently. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that writing, we're definitely doing that recap tonight. That writing and that level of what they were doing, Rum Nitty and uh, New, Jer New Jersey Twerk, it might be one of the better rounds. Definitely got some of the better rounds of the year in that battle. And Rock and uh, Geechee did their thing too. They wrote for a two-on-two -two battle and they performed in a two-on-two -two battle. <laughs> Rum Nitty and New Jersey Twerk wrote for like animal alien warfare. Like they was, they wrote for like the, 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 the Holocaust. They wrote for like Schindler's List. I don't know what they was doing. They was wilding in that joint. Uh, good battle though overall, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, they, they was they was crazy. So if Rum Nitty is gonna stay on that type of path and that and that type of rep train, and that's what we know him for. He had a battle with Apple. We're gonna recap that. And I got two Rum Nitty battles to recap tonight. That's letting you know how consistent Rum Nitty is right now. I've got two of his joints, him versus Apple and him versus uh Geechee Gotti and uh Tay Rock. And he's already battled both of them individually, you know what I'm saying? I think that people have been calling for another battle between uh him and uh him and Rock, which would probably be, you know what I'm saying, that'd be dope too, because I think they've both grown uh, significantly since that battle, you know what I'm saying, flow-wise, career-wise, and what they've been able to do. I think sometimes we really got to stop and, and give appreciation and respect to these battle rappers, because they have to consistently do it over and over again. Every three months, another battle, another card, another chance to get smoked, another chance for an angle, another chance, you know what I'm saying, to do all of that. So. I, I hear the argument about a lot of the times when it comes to like media or bigger than battle rappers, whatever the case may be. I've said it once and I'll say it before, I never will subscribe to that personally. Like whatever happens out here, happens out here. But I don't ever want to be considered bigger 
than an artist, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't rap, like I'm not, I mean, I do rap, but not like that. But you know what I'm saying? I don't really want to like put myself in that realm. Cause without what they do, without what they do, I'm not doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a fact. Like, huh, I seen ESPN fired everybody today. Maybe I could go over there and hustle up some. Hey ESPN, what y'all got going on? Tom McShay, Jeff Van Gundy, uh, <laughs> Steve Young, Keyshawn Johnson. All these people in one day, like they can the whole staff. Like, what is going on over there? They are bugging. Like, <laughs> I'm like, damn. The only person that's looking smart in this whole regard is Pat McAfee and Shannon Sharp for leaving big networks before the big networks could leave you. They always say it's better to leave your job than your job leave you. You know what I'm saying? So that shit's kind of crazy. I seen the NBA free agency starting right now. I seen Draymond got re-signed by the Warriors. I mean. <sighs> He was a major part, and you know the battle rap shit. I don't really got much battle rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like left, like it was. This was a, this was a stretch. It wasn't really nothing popping today. But I know y'all. I wanted to see y'all. Y'all wanted to see me, and me and SP got some shit we doing later. So I had to. I had to, I had to come outside. But it ain't really much going on right now. I could have just went to the gym or something. But I, I figured I'd come outside and rap with y'all right quick. Um, Draymond was the it was an intricate part of four title teams. Uh, obviously, he's Mr. Triple Single. He ain't really gonna score much, but he what he brings is all of those intangibles. He hustles, he plays defense, he grabs rebounds, he can set up plays, he can run screen. He knows the Warriors' offense inside and out. So if they ever want to try to compete for another title, they're gonna need him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're not gonna get to the finals without Draymond Green. I mean, Curry and Clay and all of them is cool, but you're not getting there without Draymond. You've seen it. The, the, the finals that he had got suspended, they lost, you know what I'm saying? And the other one, he got, like, if he's not there, they're not gonna win. So, uh, if he gets suspended or some shit like that, they're losing. So anyway, uh, I, 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 I understand why. I do understand why they did it. Uh, I see Kyrie Irving is like trolling. He going to like every team and shit, like every team taking meetings. I want him to sign with the Lakers for the veteran minimum, please. Sign with the Lakers for the veteran minimum. I would love it. You know what I'm saying? Just to shake up the app forever. It says the Lakers offer Reeves four years, 52 million. They said that uh, the Sixers may trade Maxi. I don't know. That's crazy. And we got rid of Joe Harris. The Nets got rid of Joe Harris. Oof. I ain't never got to watch Joe Harris miss no open shots ever again in life. If nothing else came out of this day, today is a great day. I never have to watch him miss open shots ever again in life. Get the fuck out of New York. We're so glad you're gone. Thank, thank you, Brooklyn, for getting Joe Harris the fuck out of the city. Lord have mercy. You don't know what y'all did today. Whew. Um, so, yeah, free agency, free agency is about to start, and we'll see uh, – who's getting traded or who's going where. This is a pretty dope time, but the thing about basketball now, it's so wishy-washy, like everybody wants to be traded. Harden wants to be traded. Kyrie Irving's going to every single team. This person wants to be traded. That person, like, come on, like, nobody sticks with their team anymore. Everybody wants to just, once they lose a playoff series or two, oh, Harden, I want out. You went to Brooklyn, you want out. You go to Philly, you want out. Like, bro, <laughs> this shit wild out here. I, I, I tell y'all that. Um. Nothing in battle rap this weekend. There's no events going on. I think, well, next weekend, or yeah, next weekend's supposed to be the URL jump, but I think it's going straight, yeah, it's, it's going straight to the app where you gotta be in the building. So, uh, when, that, when those type of battles happen, like when people can't see them and all of that, they lose a little bit of steam because, uh, you know, the, the energy in battle rap is really around the live event, around the pay-per-view, around social media, after the events. That's what drives a lot of the content, the YouTube thing. When it's a joint that's just in the building and nobody can really see it or they can't even do like a pay-per-view for it, it, it takes away. It, it really does. I mean, I've been recapping battles for a long time. I got a lot of recaps with Showtime SP. We got a lot of joints. A lot. And as a recap person, would not being able to not like, would, even if I went and saw it myself, the, the consumer not being able to see it, even if you go back home and recap it, it's cool, but it ain't gonna do the same as if people watched it. Like, people watching it, like, you have fans that'll bet with their homeboy, and they'll, they won't agree, but they'll go, I've, I've been told this before, they'll go watch the recap and be like, Yo, whoever Vada say, whoever SP say won the battle, they, they use it as the third vote and all that type of shit. But when you don't know or you ain't seen it, it, it it's kinda hard to sell the product, you know what I'm saying? It'll be on the app, people will see it still, but, 
I think it's just, you know, the the, the the only person that loses in that regard, and I'm not hating, you know what I'm saying? I'm really not hating on the URL today. Do your thing. We want good battles. The only people that lose in that regard are the actual artists because you still have to prepare. You still have to get ready. You still have to know everything. You still got to be ready to go. You still got to be able to rock a crowd. But the, the, the world don't get to, to, to consume that, you know what I'm saying? The cats that's overseas and, the, and on military bases and the cats that's, you know what I'm saying, off to college and people that got to work that day that can't take the day off work but they can pop their headphones in and listen those are the people who are the ones that's your retention base and they the ones that want to see and know what happened well they'll watch it on the app and i guarantee you it won't be as big as it was when it happens if it was, if it was on pay-per-view i know that because i've done them i've recapped joints that people haven't seen i've done it like <laughs> recap every kind of battle from a proven ground to summer madness and everything in between i've done that you know, I don't really brag on what we what I've done like all the time, but we've recapped every style of battle, two on two, one on one, <laughs> fights and battles, niggas choking, you know what I'm saying, recycling ball. We've done every single angle. And when I tell you that um, fans having to be the opportunity to consume the experience as a fan, it does make for a bigger day. But, you know, so be it. I still hope it goes well and that the MCs do their thing because we need battles to recap. Like, most of the news that's going on out here is every day, easy, 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 every day, my dog, like, bro, like, and I know why, you know why it happens, because there's money involved. I can't do it, though. I, I don't want to sit here and title 10 videos in, in three days. I don't want to do that shit. This is not that channel. I'm not going to do it, you know what I'm saying? I just want to, when some, some revelation comes about, Something pushes the ball. I want to do first downs, you know what I'm saying? Once it's a first down, okay, we'll talk. If it's another first down, we'll talk. If it's a, a touchdown, we'll talk. If it's a field goal, we'll talk. Niggas will get, they'll be a second and nine, got to do one. Third and eight, got to do one. Fourth and six, I got to do another video. Like, it's like, all right, man, it's cool, man. But, uh, you know, hey, I get it, you know what I'm saying? There's money involved, no disrespect to anybody. Please don't take this as slight, because I ain't thinking about no niggas in particular. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. Um, but you know that that'll come about how it does. They have they still haven't spoke, and <laughs> so I don't know if these niggas got the goddamn gag look, gag order, or some some Watergate shit going on over here. I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't ask, I don't call around, I don't want to fucking know. Uh, I'll find out when the world does. I'm sure we'll all have some shocking revelation whenever that does happen. You know what I'm saying? So salute to all of the um, MCs out there. ARP. I was going to do a blog on this, but I'd rather just do it now because I'm sure you watch my shit, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't, I know people that are with you watch my shit. I know some of your artists watch, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, a, it's good to know that this message is going to get to you, right? Bruh, thank you. I just want to say thank you. And all of the craziness that's going on in battle rap, all of the wild, all of the this, all of the that. Yo, know, RB is, like, one of the only leagues this year that has had, like, literally... Damn near perfect events. The blue room's been jumping. You know, the battles that are released have pretty much all been good. You know what I'm saying? Even down to like the pain versus Coach Cole Leones, and like they could go down to the, the bricks when they release their battles. They're still good. You know what I'm saying? It's consumable content. It's not a lot of riffraff, like niggas is battling. It's not no fights and shit. Like it's none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bunch of people up there forgetting their bars, choking. They be having whole cards with no chokes. Whole cards, like, it'll be like none on the whole card. When I went to, uh, what was that shit called? Divide and Conquer 1. Bro, the whole card, I didn't see not a stumble on the whole card. It was like you was in a battle rap matrix. Like, what the hell is going on here? I'm talking about every round, every battler. No stumbles, no chokes, nothing. They're getting time to prepare, you know what I'm saying? They're preparing properly. And they're performing at a high level, man. I gotta give props to that because, you know, ARP really be on it. He made Charlie Clips spit three rounds with no freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody else is gonna get that nigga to do that. Nigga, I'm gonna wild now, man. I'm writing this shit the night before. Fuck you mean. That's what he do. Nah, nigga. I'm gonna fly from Tampa to Atlanta. On that flight, I'm writing three rounds. Freestyle. That's what he do. But he didn't do that shit for him. So, I gotta say respect and props to y'all. We looking forward to some announcements, Max out. Like, we looking forward to it, you know what I'm saying? It's getting hot. Summertime in Atlanta. We want to come to Atlanta this year, you know what I'm saying? Got some surprises, got some things we want to see in Atlanta. So let's get that going. Uh, I, uh, other than that, I hear everybody talking about the K-Shine situation. I'm just, every time I hear something, something comes along, 
you know what I'm saying, that's worth talking about, we'll speak and then it is what it is. Uh, like I said, at this point, I feel like the fans are missing out because Kayshawn is one of the ones, you know what I'm saying, we like, I like to see him again soon. But, you know, I understand. This is one of the situations where I kind of see both sides of this shit, you know what I'm saying? But I rock with the nigga, but I see both sides. If I pay somebody to do a job, you know what I'm saying, like to fix my roof, and it rained one day they couldn't do it, and another day they lost a family member, or whatever the case may be, not putting it on the artist, but the person that I'm doing business with, we couldn't do it. That doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying, the 10,000 I gave you, or 50,000 I gave you to do whatever you had to do is, is null and void. Like, how would you feel if, you know what I'm saying, I need my ride, what, 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 what we doing here? But then I feel him like, yo, it ain't his fault that the niggas that he was battling didn't show up. I think they should kind of gotta meet somewhere in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's gotta be some kind of middle ground, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta be some kind of, I would hope so, you know, to get him back on stage just doing what people love to see him do, you know what I mean? Because I know he ain't gonna be able to just go jump on no other league. Oh, hell no, nah. niggas ain't going for that. Like, they be saying that, yo, I could go wherever I want, man, you could go where you sure can. And we gonna go straight to court. <laughs> you getting sued? Like these leagues know that. Like they not about to play with that. Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. They know for a fact that yo, they got him over there. They not about to play with that because you gonna get sued. <laughs> like straight up, paperwork coming through. <laughs> Email. Speaking of paperwork, yo, this shit's crazy. I'm, I'm gonna just say this, man. <sighs> Byron Blake, man. Please, please. By all means, just leave me alone, man. Please leave me alone. If y'all don't know who this is, this is the dude that, uh, that hit man. Do you remember the, 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 the gas station? That ball, the gas station ball, pump nine ball. That dude that went to show up to an event to troll and get your ass what ball. That dude, you know what I'm saying? Like this dude right here, man. He is wild, yo. I, w I just want you to leave me alone, please. Like seriously, like please just seriously leave me alone. He was on Instagram the other day and he added me asking for like my information, like yo, my information on me, like my name or my address or something, whatever. And I, I seen it real quick and then it disappeared. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit. Man. And he was asking for information on me. And I'm like, yo, what is this nigga doing? Like, what's up with him? I ain't got no issue with him. I make videos about everybody. Like, who are you? Like, I don't know you like that. What are you doing? So I get an email from YouTube and it says, <laughs> this nigga, yo, you trying to put the people on me? <laughs> Yo, this nigga try to put the people on me, son. Yo, you's a wild boy, man. Fuck it. So, <laughs> it says, Byron Blake, we are concerned that your copyright notification may not be valid for some or all videos identified in your content. Please keep in mind that countries that illegally use copyrighted works in specific ways without the owner. Basically, what he did was he was trying to say that I was copyright infringing him for using a video. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And then he wrote this letter to the people. Listen to this shit. This shit is crazy, man. You got some paperwork, man. Don't put no more papers on me, man. Please. He said, yes, I do believe this video production infringes my rights. It uses my video footage for over 50 seconds. It also hinders my ability to properly promote my content per contractual agreement with the performer because it paints both the performer and myself in a bad light. There is- Get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, you know what I'm saying? Also a ton of defamation in this video as well as other videos made by this user concerning myself and my content. I have also a content ID system in place to protect my music as I did not authorize the removal of that claim. As a result, this person may or may not be receiving monetary gain. Yeah, I get paid off you, dig. I'm getting paid off talking about you right now. As a result of falsely removing my claim, unless the content ID Berber picked up, in such case, I would like to have my content ID back in place. And then you filed a copyright infringement against me and you put your name, your address, and all of that on there. I ain't gonna show it, but I'm just saying, dog, like, Leave me alone, dog. It's right here. You showed it. Like, why are you doing this, bro? You think you that big of a... You think you a factor? Please, who... who <laughs> you think... <laughs> why you doing this, man? Please, just leave me alone. I don't want nothing with you, bro. If I, I, I thought I took the video down, man, because I didn't want, like, what you doing, bro. Like, 
You got, you trying to file perjury and copyright infringement, bro. You trying to get my channel taken down? Like, what's up with you, boy? Oh, man, you the conspiracy boy. You the, you the, you, <laughs> you the federality boy. You got too much paperwork. You the, I got four slides of you. One, two, three, four. I got too much, I got too many slides. What are you doing, man? Leave me. <laughs> you a funny nigga, man. My name is Leave Me Alone. That's my name. My name is Byron Blake. Please leave me alone. I don't want nothing with you. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. I know you got beat by Hitman in the battle, and I know you got beat at the gas station. That's all I know about you. I don't know nothing else about you. I don't want to know nothing else about you. I don't get beat up. Now, <laughs> y'all have a great day. <laughs> you some <a> funny nigga. <laughs> that nigga put the people on me. God bless y'all. I'm out. <laughs> Whoa, man. That nigga said my copyright has been infringed. Nigga, who are you? I don't even know you. Dummy.